Hello, I'm Martin Lewis, money saving expert. It's National Numeracy Day and I've got a question for you. I want you to imagine you're going into a supermarket. When you get there, there are three different deals on the same can of baked beans, which all cost the same amount. I want to know which is the worst of these three deals. The first one is a deal that says, buy two cans, get one free. The next is a deal that says, get a third of the price of the baked beans. And the final one is the deal that says, buy this can and we'll give you 40% extra for free. So buy two, get one free, get a third of the price or get 40% extra for free. Which is the worst deal? Hey, we're in lockdown, I've got to do my own sound effects. And your answer is? Okay. So if you found that relatively easy and you've got the right answer, you're probably pretty good at maths. If you are struggling and don't really know, well, there's a bit of work that you're going to need to do there. So let's just check, what is the worst answer? Well, it's get 40% extra for free, which may surprise you because it's the bigger number. And often when I've done this before, I know people do tend to choose it. They think, oh, a third off, that's not as good as 40% on top because a third is 33%. But let's just imagine now that I've got those cans of baked beans in front of me. On the first deal, it says buy two cans of baked beans and you get one for free. OK, so I've now got three cans and I paid for two. The second deal, well, imagine I've got three cans. It says get a third off the price. Well, one can is a third, so I have three cans of baked beans, but get rid of that. I've only paid for two. It's the same. The last one, now I've got my two cans of baked beans. What's a 40% on top? Well, 50% on top would be another can. This is only 40%. It's not as good. You're not getting as good value. That's the worst deal. Now, if you're struggling to understand that, you're probably struggling a little bit with the maths. And that's what the National Numeracy Day is all about, trying to encourage you and infuse you to get involved with mathematics and do 15 minutes to take the National Numeracy Challenge, which will show you how good you are and the little bits of areas that you do need to work on. And for me, in my world, maths is really important. Now, I'm not someone who believes that money is maths. There are many decisions in finance that you don't have to be mathematical for. The decision whether you want to take on debt, how fashion works, your attitude to spending. All of these are intuitive skills. They're not numerical skills, but a huge part of dealing with money is mathematical, is numerical does need that skill to be able to easily deal with numbers. And I would encourage you to do so because if you don't, then people who are numerate and also devious and have no morals will try and rip you off. We have an epidemic of scams going on in this country at the moment. And being good with numbers and being trying to be able to work out what's happening really will help you in your life. From the obvious going into shops and making decisions to calculating your finances, working out which product's good or bad, when we do finally get to go abroad again, translating the price back so that you can work out what your euros are worth in pounds easily without needing to use a calculator. All of these things are good. And hey, you have to use a calculator, use a calculator, as long as you know how to work it. And I'd really encourage you to get better at maths. And there's a frustration, I think, out there for those of us who understand the importance of maths in society. That often when I've talked about this on the television, it's even some well-known presenters say things like, oh, you know, I'm absolutely awful at maths. And I always think, you wouldn't say that with reading. You wouldn't be on the telly boasting, oh, I'm terrible at reading, you know. Why is it permissible with maths? It isn't in my book. Now look, there are some people who struggle with maths. They may have dyscalculia or many other reasons, and I accept that. But my big point is this isn't something we need to boast about as a society. Certainly not people who have no reason they couldn't be good with maths. If you're not good with maths, well, give it a go. Try and learn the skills. Try and improve because it will do you better. We do need maths in everyday life. Not geometry, not even necessarily algebra, but general functional mathematics. That's why I'm proud to be an ambassador for National Numeracy Day and I'd urge you to take the National Numeracy Challenge.